I would recommend to students to try everything that you can while you're here because we have so many, I think we have like 60, like 100 or something clubs. We have clubs for every single person, every single um, identity, every single type of interest that you have. We also have different programs. We have different like work experiences on campus. We have just different experiences that faculty and uh, professors are interested in your life. There's so many different initiatives that go on here as far as like inclusion goes, being talkative, outgoing, um, hardworking. I am an active part of the dance community on campus, and there's a very large dance community, not only through the, you know, the hip hop modern genre, but also through ballroom, through interpretive jazz, just, again, diversity in the sphere of dance. And so being able to express oneself in, in a different manner, in various different manners, I think is very important. There are people here that are much more open-minded. They're much more accepting of others, and that's what I think I took away from coming to Stony Brook. It's my mentality that's changed. And that's something that is special about Stony Brook. Um, we make a very huge effort here to be very diverse, very inclusive of different um, backgrounds. And I think that reflects in both the students and the university and the way the faculty treats, treats students and one another. If you're speaking up, they'll listen because Stony Brook is here for students. It's here for, for your education. So if you can just raise your voice and say, hey, you know what, I need this. My reason for coming here was the MSA on campus. Like I heard about the Muslim Student Association. I was like, that's something I need to be a part of. And um, I remember my freshman like week, I was looking around for this prayer room apparently that we have on campus and where all these Muslim students are and stuff like that. And I found it and you know, I, I found like a group of people that I could really relate to and I felt included in like a family and I didn't feel like the minority anymore. I didn't feel like, oh, I'm the only one who's different. I've never felt so involved in something and like a part of something. I joined the LGBTA, uh, the club we have on campus, um, like about halfway through my first semester as a freshman. Um, and that's really helped to just have a community of people um, who have similar mindset. It's where I met the people that I live with now in gender neutral housing. Um, just to have that kind of base understanding is nice. Uh, in a community, that was definitely a positive. Pretty much networking is one aspect that I feel like Stony Brook allowed me to um, to hone in. So by networking with the, within the organization that I'm in and networking with uh, people and professors that I see, I've been able to get a job at the administration building in the Office of Advancement. It's good for like one type of people to know another type. If you're, say, if you're from the city, if you're from upstate, that's automatically should be um, roommates. Well, in my opinion, because I feel like people from different backgrounds should be roommates rather than, oh, he went to Bronx Science, he went to Bronx Science, let's be roommates. Because I feel like that's just um, cheating the system. It's an easy way to keep your friends rather than making new ones. When I set foot in Stony Brook, I didn't know what I want to do, where I want to be. All I know is I want to be involved in the community. Um, so I did join the Student African American Brotherhood freshman year um, as a chapter member. Um, I was part of NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, as well as SHEP, Society of Hispanic Engineers. So I was big into the, the cultural engineering scene here, and it was there that I found a lot of support. I've had other positions. I was the president of the Student African American Brotherhood while I was here at Stony Brook. I learned to guide a team, motivate people, and, you know, through them, I've only grown as a professional. You know, I've learned how to talk. I've learned to walk the walk, so to speak, and uh, present myself and my brand as something worthy of my name. I've sort of ended up where I've ended up by kind of putting myself out there and putting myself in a place that can be uncomfortable for me, because I like to be set number two. I don't like to be the, the president. I don't like to be the most in charge. Meanwhile, I'm in charge of a club, which I created. I have, in the past, been part of um, leadership with my dance team. Um, I'm an RA. Um, I've been multiple peer education programs, or I have been in multiple peer education programs, and I am in one. Um, internships, things like things of that nature. I try to venture out into different circles every, at least once a week kind of like see what other people are thinking or how other people react to certain issues. 
or what their opinions are of certain topics. So I feel like if you stay in the same circle or the same niche, then you definitely are one-sided and you don't really have a chance to develop. Um, eventually you do find, like, you, you are accepted in one group or another. And ultimately you decide what that group is or they kind of help you develop that, that sense of belonging. My freshman year was awesome and then I applied to be an RA so I could continue to give back and make people feel included. The skills that you get, like communication skills, leadership skills, you know, you can always bring that up in anything. Like I've had job interviews where they're like, you have any conflict skills? And I'm like, oh, let me tell you, I've dealt with conflict. Like you don't understand roommate conflict like I do. Also, that job is very time consuming. So that mixed in with your schoolwork, mixed in with every other extracurricular activity you do, has really taught me how to time manage. Me being involved, I think um, it, it, it helped help me, but not only me, but also help the community to, to know that there is a leader out there, leaders actually, not just a leader, a leader is out there that, that really want to help Stony Brook and help the community to achieve better success. For those seeking to go into these sort of things, it's kind of, you just have to get, push yourself to go that extra step.